What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to Telltale's Walking Dead Season 2! Right. So now we're at the start of Episode 2. So, episode, chapter select, Episode 2, A House Divided. So, something's obviously going to go on. I don't know what. But, it, it was interesting from uh, from the um, uh, the thingamajig. What do you call it? Uh, the preview. So, yeah. For some reason, now, we were going from our house... To the mountains? Like, why? Maybe the whole Carver thing kicks up and, and something, but apparently we meet someone we know. Or at least Clementine meets someone we know, and then they find out about someone that they know, which is possibly what makes them move to the mountains. I don't know. We shall see. Right, let us start. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out! Grab her, let's go! Uh, would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? You know what I'm looking at. Staring ain't polite. What are you going to do? Also, did no one teach Hand Nick to, there. to shoot walks in the head? Uh, can it off, won't, it work. off won't work. Says who? I've never heard of it working. Well, there's only one way to find out. Uh, that's your whole leg. Why are you doing it as a knee? What? You can't do this. There's no way. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What exactly. are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. 
There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Except for we're now stuck in a metal box with a potential walker. Oh, Nick. That stupid kid. Well, if someone would have taught him to shoot walkers in the fucking head and not the stomach, then maybe he would have been alright. <coughs> Do we have any left? Anything in that. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, Not much. Here. Thanks. I'll keep looking around. Right. Let's have a gander at what we've got. Okay, apparently I... My... Let's go back a second. I can look at the saw, but for some reason my cursor won't go down far enough to actually be able to select the hacksaw. <laughs> Red and gold. What's in there? Anything we can use? A hell of a lot of cigarettes. Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Hand it here. If ah, um, <clears throat> oh yeah, we still do. We have our butterfly lighter. I mean, yeah, it's probably not the best idea for him to smoke, but <laughs> well, if this is his last days, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <sighs> we wait. What for all this to blow over? That thing's gonna work. Um, we never searched the rest of the cab. Clem, wake up. Look at the veins in his neck. <laughs> yeah, poke him. <coughs> so he's still alive, just he's getting Jesus. there. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking, and I don't want to die. <coughs> well, I'm sorry, Pete, but the way you're going. I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. But there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. What does it feel like? It feels like... Like a rope was wrapped around my neck. I'm getting tighter every second. It feels like I can't... <coughs> can't breathe. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, <sighs> he is a good boy. I can't He's promise anything. A tough hand, but he is a good boy. I can't make any promises. You realize that, right? He might be. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm 
not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me. Uh, no. It, it, there's nothing we can do for him. Thank you, Pete. You go find my nephew now, right? Wait for my signal. And run straight to the woods. Just keep moving. All right. If we took him along with us, he would just he Let's would slow us down. With. Sorry, Pete. That's it. That's a football tackle. And we're out of here. Sorry, Pete, you're a good man, but... I, there's no way I could risk taking you with me. Episode 2. The house divided. This? Oh, this is back at the house. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. So one minute you're telling me not to go anywhere near her, and now you're telling me to look after her. One or the other, dude. I mean, come on. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Sure. sure, whatever. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Um, um you're scaring me. They're, They're just fishing. fishing. I know that's not true. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? So it seems like Carlos is basically... I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Uh, Nobody tells you're me You're not anything. in the right it's state of mind. Dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S s sorry, sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, 
Uncle Luke's back. What, and bring all the walkers with, with you? Hell no. Like, I know we got taught while we were very young, but we got taught by Lee. And it seems that there's something sort of missing with Sarah. Mentally. Like, I don't know. I think Carlos may have... Have, um... Wrapped her in cotton wool and bubble wrap and, and kept her from the world. And so she's not really grown up. You know, she's still... She might be 15, but she kind of acts like she's what we were. Like, eight years old. So... I don't really think she's in the right state of mind to be uh, to learning how to shoot a gun. That didn't look like Luke. Um, we got a prowler. That's not Luke. Oh, you don't Clem, say. I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? Hello? Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Are you? Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Uh, I'm Carly. 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 That's a sweet name. You mind if I come in, Carly? I've been out all morning, and this heat has got me cooked. Yes, I, I do, do mind. mind. Kick him in the balls, Clem. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot, That's of, a lot people of people to lose. to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Uh, excuse me, buddy. Do you mind getting out? Well, looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you. More. Hmm. Just passing through, or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not uh, sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Grab the knife. Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. It's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. Yeah, you've seen it. Now, do you want to get the fuck out? <clears throat> I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. 
Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? Just a creek. It's a cabin. Cabin's creek. It's made of wood. What do you expect? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear. I didn't hear anything. Uh, Clementine, do you want to grab something? Smack him over the head with it. Why are why are you going around our house with your gun out? Well, I mean, it's I not our you, house. Nobody's here. Seems that you know way. what I mean. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. You mean like you? <laughs> yeah, like sure. Okay, you mean like what you're doing? Who's this? Ooh. My sister. She's dead. Really? Well. I'm very sorry to hear that. Thanks. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you uh, know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Pete trusted me. Pete trusted me. You did, huh? You sure about that? Well, he did help us to escape, so yeah, I am pretty well, sure I about that. I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? I don't know. I don't know who he is. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Um, calm down? I am calm. He was coming you in either down. way. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? He let himself Maybe in. We didn't let him in. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? Why do you care so much? Excuse me? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? Uh, His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not going to hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy. Or not nice. Right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. Uh, you, you told me to distract her. Distract her? Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! Uh, hello? Excuse me? Do you mind telling me who the hell he is? Leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. 
What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Yeah, he's going to be pretty dead, though. Now, you said it was Unless just up just... here? I want to see yeah, him one last just time. A little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Clem, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I thought she was like, yeah, I'm bored of your story now. I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> there. That's where we were. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. He's not in oh, here. Just go rushing in. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open, and stay in sight. Maybe he upped and left. It was a blood trail. Uncle Pete! It's possible he's round this corner. Pete! Oh, there he is. Ooh. Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Carver's guys must have found him then. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. Nick, don't... I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. Oh, I, I, I still have to look for Krista. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're going to have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beth. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. 